list of home remedies. The cause of the problem will have some bearing on the knee pain treatment. However, many types of knee pain can be relieved using the following straightforward treatments. Engaging in exercise. The knee joint can benefit from exercises to strengthen the upper thighs. One of the most common causes of knee pain, osteoarthritis OA, can be delayed with exercise. People are urged to exercise to manage knee OA by the American College of Rheumatology ACR, and the Arthritis Foundation AF, trusted source. Yoga, Tai Chi, swimming, cycling, and walking all have potential benefits. Whether a person has osteoarthritis OA, or not, being physically active improves the health of cartilage tissue. Exercise also improves the body's ability to support the joints. The knees significantly benefit from leg muscle strengthening. Activities like water aerobics, which are easy on the knees, can help those with joint pain. Exercises that build strength. Physical therapists can help people choose the exercises and regimens that are most effective for them. The quadriceps muscles in the upper leg can be strengthened through exercise to assist safeguard the knee joint. The sides and front of the thighs have these muscles. Here are some techniques for building up these muscles. While seated or lying down, raise a leg and straighten it. Step up one foot, then the other, stepping back down after each step and continuing the step ups. For one minute, alternate between sitting and standing in a chair. Avoid using your hands as support and move slowly and carefully. Holding a chair, bend your knees till they reach your toes. 10 times total. Posture and assistance. The following actions can reduce knee strain. Avoiding sinking into low stools and couches. Elevating your seat if necessary by sitting on a pillow. Make sure you are sitting upright and not slouching or slumping. Putting on supportive footwear and staying away from shoes with broken arches, which can put an abnormal amount of force and wear on the knee. Avoid prolonged sitting and extended periods of inactivity because these activities can cause joints to stiffen and hurt. Dieting and weight reduction. A Mediterranean diet may be anti-inflammatory and assist people in maintaining a healthy weight. Obese or overweight people are more likely to experience knee pain. The joints work harder when they are carrying additional weight. Losing it aids in easing chronic knee discomfort, particularly arthritis-related pain. Your knees are impacted by increased body-wide inflammation brought on by carrying more weight. Eating well aids in maintaining a healthy weight. A balanced diet includes Abundant in fiber, fruits, and vegetables. Low in animal fat, meat, and other types of fat. The Arthritis Foundation advises following a fresh fruit and vegetable-heavy Mediterranean diet. If a person has obesity or excess weight, experts advise them to lose weight if they have osteoarthritis of the knee. How much weight a person needs to lose can be decided with the advice of a doctor or nutritionist. Additionally, they can aid with diet planning. Pharmaceuticals. Aside from other drugs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can ease arthritis-related knee pain. Some of these must be administered in a medical facility, but others can be taken either with or without a prescription at home. The following medications are possible pain relievers. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, either topically or orally, NSAIDs. Capsaicin topical. Joint injections of steroids. Tramadol. Acetaminophen and the antidepressant duloxetine may be helpful. Except for tramadol, do not advise utilizing opioids. The NSAIDs ibuprofen and naproxen, as well as some of these drugs, can be bought over the counter or online. Knee discomfort may be alleviated by massage, especially self-massage. The following are suggestions from the American Massage Therapy Association AMTA. These should be carried out while seated, with the feet flat on the floor and the knees pointed forward. Tap the center, upper, and lower thighs ten times with both hands while loosely clenching them into fists. Three times, please. Placing the heel of the palm on the top of the thigh and gliding it down to the knee while seated flat on the floor, release. 5 times, please. Apply the same technique to the inside and outer thighs. Step up and down 5 times while pressing 4 fingers into the knee's tissue. Iterate around the knee. The hand should be placed on top of the thigh, moved down the leg, across the knee, and then return to the top of the thigh. Knee pain can be reduced by massaging the thigh muscles. Products used in aromatherapy. Essential oils might be able to ease discomfort. According to a 2008 study, 
Rubbing knees with moderate to severe osteoarthritis pain with an oil combining ginger and orange reduced pain and increased function. In one study, researchers discovered that using salicylate ointment and applying an ointment with cinnamon, ginger, mastic, and sesame oil had comparable effects on pain, stiffness, and motion. Defense, reassurance, ice, compression, and elevation, price. Compression can be used to support the knee and ease the pain. A soft tissue injury, such as a sprain, can cause minor knee pain, which can be treated with rest, ice, compression, and elevation. By taking a vacation from the activity that caused the injury, for instance, one can preserve their knee from additional harm. Rest can help tissues repair and lower the chance of additional damage. However, it is not advisable to completely stop moving because doing so can cause muscle weakness over time and stiffness. Ice can aid in reducing inflammation and swelling. On the first day after the injury, it should be applied several times for 20 minutes at a time while wrapped in a cloth. Never apply ice directly to the skin because this could cause further harm. For example, compression using knee support can improve comfort. The bandage or support should be sturdy but not too snug. Maintaining the leg elevated will promote circulation. The knee should ideally be higher than the heart. Cold and heat. Lower back discomfort can be relieved with heat and cold, and it has also been suggested for arthritis-related joint pain. Heat reduces stiffness by relaxing muscles and enhancing lubrication. Use a heating pad or a hot water bottle. Ice that is wrapped in a cloth helps lessen discomfort, swelling, and inflammation. Heat may be used by some persons to increase mobility in the morning and the afternoon. Always test anything hot before using it, especially if it's for an elderly person or someone who finds it difficult to communicate. Climate. Pain is sometimes assumed to worsen in colder climates. Although living in a pleasant atmosphere might make suffering psychologically easier, study results do not support this. Additionally, it might make it simpler to live a healthier lifestyle. In 2014, researchers showed that, rather than weather itself, sensitivity to weather in older persons with osteoarthritis may affect how they experience joint pain. Weather sensitivity was more frequently reported by Southern Europeans, women, and people with higher levels of anxiety. People with higher degrees of sensitivity were also more likely to experience more pain, particularly in damp, rainy, and chilly weather. The findings of the study refuted the widely held notion that pain is worse in colder climates. This viewpoint was backed by a 2017 study conducted in the United States. The results revealed no connection between increased visits to the doctor for joint pain and rainfall. Acupuncture. There is evidence that acupuncture may help with knee osteoarthritis, according to a 2017 study including 570 participants. Over 26 weeks, participants either had 6 acupuncture sessions over 12 weeks or 23 actual or 23 sham acupuncture sessions. When compared to the others, those who had real acupuncture scored higher on tests of pain and function. Researchers' findings are. When compared to plausible sham acupuncture and education control groups, acupuncture appears to offer improvement in function and pain reduction as adjuvant therapy for osteoarthritis of the knee. The front of the knee hurts. One of the most frequent aches and pains is a pain in the front of the knee. A quarter of people will have it at some point in their life, making it the second most common pain behind lower back pain. Most front knee injuries result from overuse or inadequate exercise preparation. The issues typically go away on their own, allowing you to resume your sporting activity after the discomfort passes. The discomfort varies, but is typical. Be a nagging pain that develops gradually and is connected to activities. Emit clicking or other noises. Turn on while ascending stairs or rising from an extended period of seated, kneeling, or squatting. Cause the legs to become weak. The following are suggested treatments for front knee pain. Ceasing the actions that cause it until a solution is found. Using ice to soothe sore knees. Using painkillers available over the counter, such as ibuprofen or naproxen. Doing strength training. What causes knee pain? Among the most frequent causes of the knee, discomfort includes sprains, gout, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoarthritis. One of the most typical reasons for chronic knee discomfort is osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis, a kind of arthritis, is a prevalent cause of chronic knee discomfort. It is believed that joint wear and strain are to blame. The majority of those affected are seniors over 65. 
The cartilage that covers the ends of the bones in a healthy joint allows the knee to bend and straighten effortlessly. Osteoarthritis results from continual deterioration of this cartilage. Motion is restricted, and discomfort gradually gets worse. When you bear weight, the pain gets worse, when you rest, it goes away. Additionally, pain may appear after waking up or after periods of inactivity. Stiffness is reduced through movement. Arthritis rheumatoid. Rheumatoid arthritis, raw, another type of arthritis, can also hurt your knees. The knee frequently swells in rheumatoid arthritis. Red, sensitive, heated, and swollen are typical symptoms of sore joints. The stiffness that comes with the pain is more widespread and is usually worse in the morning. There can be daytime drowsiness. For the proper diagnosis and treatment of knee pain, a doctor should be consulted. Early treatment is beneficial for rheumatoid arthritis. Injuries, strains, and sprains. Sprains and strains occur when the knee's tissues are overextended due to unexpected or excessive activity, an unnatural twist or a trip. While sprains frequently heal on their own, some issues may need additional care. For instance, surgery can be necessary if the meniscus, a tissue pad found in the knee joint, is injured. Gout. Another form of arthritis is gout. It can affect other joints and causes sudden episodes of excruciating knee pain, along with redness and swelling. Treatment options for the ailment include medication, dietary and exercise modifications, and medical care. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube